Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to access and set up some of the CPQ package settings. To access the CPQ package settings from the setup menu in the quick find box, we're going to type in install packages and click on install packages. So from here, you can see the Salesforce CPQ package name. To access the settings, we're going to click configure. So as you can see, we're in the settings editor. And there's several tabs that you can modify various settings. The only settings that we're going to need to configure before we start learning CPQ is the calculator setting, which we can find under pricing and calculation. From here, we're going to uncheck this use legacy calculator. And then after we uncheck that box, we're going to click on authorize new calculation service. And then we're going to click allow. So after we clicked allow, it refreshed the page. And now we're back on the documents tab. But if we go back to pricing and calculation, for some reason, it sometimes rechecks the box. So we're going to uncheck it again and click save. Once we click save, everything should be up to date. And we're now using the updated calculator. As for all of these other tabs, rather than going through each of these tabs individually, I'm going to save you time by providing you a Salesforce help article that I leverage daily. I'm going to provide the link to this help article in the description box below. But as you can see on the left-hand side here, if we click on document package settings, each of these fields are what you would find in the setting editor. So document folder, you can find document folder and the description here. Same thing for group package settings. If you go to groups, solution groups enabled, you can see that that's the first field name here and Salesforce provides a description of it. In addition to the help article, if we navigate back to the settings editor, You'll see that next to each field that there's a little question mark icon. This question mark icon also provides you a short help description of each field. So if we go to line editor, each of these fields in the settings has a help text. So that's all I have for this video. The purpose of this video was to show you where you can configure CPQ package settings along with changing the calculator settings so that we can start our hands on learning in upcoming videos. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.